Yesterday, I talked about spending Bitcoin. And there's a question in the chat. I think it was from Pomp. And he asked, have I ever spent any or have I sold any of my Bitcoin before? And I said, I've never sold it, but I've spent it before. And that's something that I have been doing is, is just holding all of my monthly expenses in Bitcoin. And as I need to pay for things, I just swap it within the ShakePay wallet to dollars. And that's how I pay for things. And so just taking that a little a step further, it's it's the money that I would have otherwise spent. So I, I don't think that that's considered spending Bitcoin or selling Bitcoin. It's just putting the money that you do have that you plan on spending on living expenses into Bitcoin and using that. It's not like I'm selling Bitcoin for fiat. I'm not you know, transferring $2 million or 2 million sats to shake pay, cashing that in just so I can have a nice uh, balance in my checking account for a little while. I would never do that. It's, it's nonsense. Or even to buy stupid shit that you don't need. The one thing that Bitcoin does is it really changes your perspective on needs, needs versus wants. It's something that we learn growing up, but I think Bitcoin is a real effective way to manage that. And so with that, it's it's like just in, instead of we're so used to a world where as soon as you get the cash, you feel like you have to spend it. And I've been in that world. I spent 31 years in that world where you get paid and you spend it. You, you maybe save a little bit there. But over time, nowadays, that doesn't add up to shit. There's a time where you could actually put some money away and then you could buy something with it, but not anymore. And so everybody's kind of in this mentality where you earn money and you spend it basically as soon as you get it. So you kind of have to look at in terms of selling your Bitcoin and spending your Bitcoin. The one thing I would say is you really have to look at your current circumstances. So if you have some Bitcoin and you have debt, depending on what kind of debt that is, you have to consider what you'd be spending your Bitcoin on. So for an example, if you have like a mortgage or a line of credit, anything like that with like kind of a low interest rate, instead of selling Bitcoin to pay off that loan, just hold on to it. Because we've seen year over year, the average return on Bitcoin is about 50% a year average. And if you compare that to your current interest rate, which is probably what, five, six, seven percent on a mortgage or a line of credit, there, there's a big variance there. So I think that it's foolish to be spending, selling that Bitcoin to pay down debt when you could just hold on to it and kind of outweigh the, the debt. So that's uh, kind of my advice on that. And in terms of like a credit card, though, if you're paying like 22 percent a month on a credit card, I would definitely sell the Bitcoin to pay off the credit card. That's what I would say. Maybe not this. Uh, yeah, I would actually because that accrues fast. So that's kind of my advice in terms of spending, selling Bitcoin. And, and like I said, it is a totally different way of looking at things. And Bitcoin is going to change the way we deal with money, the way we think about money, and the way that everything runs in the world. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today a little bit. And I'm kind of curious 